believe that we're even having to make this video, but this video is not clickbait. So if you saw the title and you're thinking this is just a YouTube clickbait video, it is not. So watch to see the footage. This week we had kind of some unnerving things happen at the house that we were really happy that we had security cameras because we were able to catch the footage and actually see exactly who and what this was. Let's give a little bit of context to us moving here to Nova Scotia. We purchased our house and when we first got here, we had our two week quarantine. And as soon as we were done, we had to have a plumber and an electrician come in and do some work. We had an electrician come three separate times to the house to do work. A couple times when Philip's mom and dad were here and once about a week or so after they left, this gentleman came to do and get a little bit of some existing knob and tube that was in the house out. We didn't want to have any in the house. This gentleman did some work, he was paid and he left and we did not tell him to come back or schedule another meet to come back to the house. I had his contact information on my phone. I knew if we needed him down the road, we could contact him. So about two weeks after his last visit here, I was at the grocery store in a local town and Philip was here at the house doing some brush work yeah. just around on the acreage. So we have about four acres here. He was in the bush clearing the some back. trails in the back for the kids to do some quad trailing because yeah. the kids quads have been showing up and a truck pulled in and we recognized both of the vehicles because we had had them here a couple of times doing work and the gentleman's truck pulled up. So Philip came out to see why he was here because we had not requested him to come right. and he kind of like fumbled and made a story like oh i have some tools that i left in the basement where he was doing some work he, uh, he had a crate there was, yeah he, he did live he left a crate here which was really weird because he was finished with the job so yeah. it didn't make much sense but i said yeah go in go in and get it and because philip was out in the bush and he was using the chainsaw and stuff he had the dogs inside so the gentleman would have seen that the dogs were in their crates as they were when he came the first time. Um, and that's kind of like a reason to share that with you is that the first couple weeks we were here, there were staples on the floor and there were a few unsafe things in the house that we didn't want the dogs to get into until right. we had really had a time to thoroughly go through the house. So when this gentleman came before, he already knew that the dogs were in there where they have quite large crates. And so if we were not able to attend to them at that time, like if we were back using a chainsaw or something, they were in a crate. Right. So he would not have expected to come in and seen the dogs roaming the house if we were not with the dogs. Things are different now that we've been here for a couple weeks, they roam the house, but when we first got here, they were in their beds when we weren't with them. So the gentleman came in, took his tools and left. And one of the things that was kind of strange about that situation was that he had said to Philip that he had seen me on his way here. So he had actually passed my vehicle from me going to the grocery store to get to our house thinking that we were actually not here. He wouldn't have been able to see if we were all in the truck or not. Which right away I had like a little red flag like, oh well you thought we were somewhere else but then you yeah. came here anyways because you knew we weren't here. So it was a little bit odd. So yeah. we were like, okay, you know what? Benefit of the doubt. You don't want yeah. to think bad of somebody, especially when we're new here and we don't know anyone. No. Uh, so we didn't jump to any conclusions at that point. Zero. So about a week and a half after, we get a call. Chase's quad is arrived to oh, its yeah. spot. And we're ready to go pick it up. And mm -hmm. we took a five hour, almost five, or four and a half hour drive to go get it and come back. So we arrived super late at night. It was about 10 o'clock in the evening. And Chase and Philip were like, we're going to go on a really quick uh, trail, just on our trail on the property here, and just kind of go for a little rip, test out the quad, and then they just couldn't wait to get on it. Yeah. So Dayton and I stayed in the house. Our security cameras are on all the time. The house is armed with our security. We have several security cameras, so everything was on. It's a bit of a foggy night, but everything was armed. And I had a little bit of a weird feeling before they left, and I was like, be careful. Yeah. I don't know, sometimes I get these little like mum gut feelings, and I was like, just, just be careful. I really didn't want them to go, but I wasn't going to be like unfun mom and be like, don't go try out the new quad. Yeah. So they went for a rip and I went to check our video that we had just posted reading through the comments, trying to ease my calm that they were going at <laughs> night in the dark on the quads on the trail. And I just had this weird feeling. So I went to check the security camera and I was right to check it because it said that three minutes prior we had a person detected on the security camera. So our cameras will tell us motion, animal, person, and it will record for an extended amount of time. Yeah, and they're 4K. And they're so 4K resolution, yeah. They're, they're really high quality and it, it really does, can tell if it's a 
person it's to buddy. crystal clear yeah, like when like... we film our YouTube videos. Even if the weather's crappy, it's pretty clear. Yeah. So it was a substantially foggy night and the internet wasn't working that well that day because we had taken a long time to op upload one of our videos. So I tried to click the button. My nerves are going kind of really high because already, you're I was already up, like anxious because they were gone. And so right away I was upset because I saw it. said there was a person <laughs> and the yeah. camera that was facing our garage. And we know that... I knew that Philip had left the garage open going for a run. He had forgot to close it because it was nighttime and we just saw the 50 kilogram bag or 25 kilogram bag of feed being moved by the garage. I didn't want to go out there thinking maybe there was a bear at night or something when Philip wasn't home right. leaving Dayton in the house. So I went and my nerves just went like through the roof yeah. right away. I just goosebumps. I was like so riled up. The camera wouldn't show me. My phone would not show me the camera footage where it said person it was like spinning like loading 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 so my nerves are even worse because i can't see now if the camera's actually telling me that there's a person so there and the, it's never lied to us people right. lied to us before yeah so the alarm went off so i on I, your I phone armed the alarm no wait so the alarm went off yeah. on your phone yeah but it buzzed yeah but it wouldn't show you what but it, it said what, there was a person underneath the footage it will say person and yeah. motion it said person <laughs> oh that's so scary. now i'm freaking out and yeah. i'm like dating get the flashlight uh we're up in our bedroom where there's a big patio door where there's no deck out it. it's just the patio right now so i'm standing my thought was i'm gonna stand there if someone's actually stupid enough to have gone in my garage i'm gonna shine my flashlight at them till philip and chase come back and then philip is going to deal with the situation because <laughs> if i have the flashlight there they're not going to want to come out in the light and me see who they are right because there's a side door in the garage so i'm thinking they went in the side door you we're hope. stuck in the front but the camera won't show me. So remember, I can't see what's there. It's just telling me there's a person. Yeah. I'm losing my mind. Philip and Chase come back. And then first thing they hear is our alarms going off. Yeah. And they see my flashlight. So like, instantly I know something's, something's kind of up. Yeah. I'm freaking out. Yeah. And. So I'm, I think when at that point, <laughs> um, in my head was racing. Because when I pulled up, the alarms were going. And when we left, and it was late at yeah, night. It was now. Mm -hmm about 12 yeah there was a truck across our uh property the kitty corner kind of yeah thing. kitty corner to our property with their lights on way back in the cut and there's there's no one that lives on that pro it's just an old trail we're that, always up late we're yeah. up around the clock working yeah. on and it. i haven't yet i don't know all the what's going on in this area yet but i all i knew is that i hadn't seen <laughs> lights down there before so i instantly get on my quad and I go down. So he had a little bit of a strange feeling when they were leaving. Right. Um, but didn't think anything of it. Cause again, you can't just like stop cars cause you see someone on a road. We're on a main road here. Right? right. So they come home, they hear the security alarms going off. I have the front one going off and the back. one. So all the alarms are going like, rah, rah, rah. they were echoing all over the acreage, but because they were on the quads, they couldn't hear it until they started coming home. And, I'm like, the camera said there was a person in the garage, but I can't see. <laughs> and he knows I'm like way up here. Yeah. My nerves are shot. Chase drops his, uh, like parks the quad. He runs in the house. Phil goes in the garage, does a quick loop, sees nothing's in there and just goes ransacking our acreage to see if anyone was there. Anyways, he comes up and finds two gentlemen that were at that truck, yeah. um, who ended up not necessarily being the person we don't know, but no, we don't they so. weren't they, at they were all just men fishing when they shouldn't have been in the middle of the night on someone's property, not ours, but poor guys probably got a scare because Philip was like, what are you doing here? You know, trying to protect. Oh, our I property. came up real fast on the quad, right quad. up to them. Yeah. Um, I was hot. Yeah. So anyways, so I'm like super riled up all the rest of the rest of the night. I had an upset stomach, couldn't settle myself. I was frightened because I was like, was there someone on the property or was yeah. it not? And I'm never scared when Phillip's around at Big all. Bigfoot. Uh, yeah, maybe Bigfoot. <laughs> I'm not afraid when the boys are all around at all. It was just that when he wasn't here and it was Dayton and I and the garage was open, I didn't really know what to do. Do I go out? Do I not? At that moment, I just, I was so riled up. I couldn't think about what out. I needed to you do. do no, I out. don't go out. I know. Yeah. I'm just saying in that moment, it was the first situation here that we had and because we didn't have really a plan in place of what do we do at the old house. It was like, if something happened, this is what you do here. We hadn't really had any reason to even think about it. So, yeah. you know, living high at the new house, it's been so nice. So I was a little unnerved. So I went to bed feeling super unsettled. And so the next day, 
Um, we are all kind of sleeping in because we had been up late coming home from the long drive getting Chase's quad. Well, first off, what did we think was that night? What do you think it was? The motion. A bear, maybe. We watched the footage, yeah. and it was super foggy, and you just see it was windy, it was foggy. I think that it was just a fluke on the camera, yeah. or maybe there was an animal, but you really can't see it in the footage, and so it was a lot of riled up for nothing. Well, I think, I think we need to say is the camera's when we first installed them we didn't have the settings correct no um so we had even only when filming for 10 seconds yeah and then so sometimes an animal would go through the frame and it would only pick up the tail end of the animal literally, literally. <laughs> the tail end of the animal in that area there is a game trail you can see that something is walking behind, behind our garage. garage every night and it could have been a bear we and think it, it said person because probably it saw it, a bear that we really big, can't even see on the footage right so unfortunately it scared the bejeebers out of me <laughs> yeah. and got me really on high alert but then this happened the next day that made me be like okay my nerves were justified even though it wasn't this person the night before either so i just done some work outside so i came in to have a shower and when i got out of the shower i heard a ding on my phone that there was a motion out front so i saw on the camera that i could recognize that it was a truck that i knew and it was the electrician's truck that we had had before or at least i thought it was it was a similar truck i never paid too much attention to what the truck looked like just the color yeah and again i'm not home yeah, i'm in so the back wasn't home i'm in the back nine i'm at our property yeah, but i'm but not at the, the house and the kids are in the bedrooms watching a video like just lounging really quiet yeah so i'm like i'm not going to answer the door and how I just got out of the shower. I'm not in, especially when there's a man at the door. Like if it had been like our lady friend next door or something, I maybe would have come down at all. But definitely not a man at the door. I'm gonna come down after getting out of the shower. So I heard the dogs get upset, and uh, I'm now watching on the camera, and you can see the footage here. Looking at the footage and while I was watching it, it makes me feel super worried because I'm like, if that door had not have been locked and I had not locked it behind me coming yeah. in to have a shower, he would have been in the house. Not only would I have just got out of the shower, um, luckily for him because of the dogs that he didn't come in the house, but also he didn't even know we were home. He looked in, knocked, no one answered. He even looked up. I don't know if he saw the camera or not. I don't, no, we didn't, I don't, we didn't have a camera. Oh, we didn't have there. that one there. We put that one yeah. there yesterday. So he looked in, saw no one was here, and he tried the door to come in. Yeah. And talk about feeling invaded. Yeah. I know he didn't enter the house, but if he would door, have. If yeah. that door would have been open, unlocked, he would have been in the house. And first of all, completely inappropriate. Um you don't knock on someone's door and if they don't answer, that's not an invitation to come in. Your invitation to come in someone's house is if someone answers the door and they say, come on in. You don't just knock. I, I think you need to say too that you, we never wrote him. We I never no, invited we, him I don't, to We come. don't even know who no. he is. So we, the plumber that we had hired to come in recommended us to call this gentleman for electrical because when he had come to do plumbing work he knew that we also were looking for an electrician right and so that's the only way that we knew who this person was i don't know the last name i only knew his first name we don't know where he lives i don't know where don't he know. lives i don't know anything about this gentleman at yeah. all other than what he did coming into my yeah. house so i just want to say he that had just come yeah two weeks before a week and a half before and come kind of like unannounced and then happened to kind of get like caught here on property, like coming to get something ish. Yeah. And then now this, and so definitely this person's not welcome on our property. I actually messaged the gentleman and I said, right were you just on my property? And like, why were you here? And why did you try to open my door? Yeah. And you just got a, a, a mirage of, uh, and we sent him the footage even. Yeah, we had to. And 
the reasons why he said he was here were three separate excuses, which of none of them made sense. No. Um, one of them was that he thought that our children were here, um, that maybe we weren't home, and he just thought he'd come and check out and see how things were going. Well, not appropriate. First of all, children are not left here alone. Second of all, another he, reason not to come... He didn't say children, but he said oh, the boys. boys. He thought the boys were home. Yeah, um, but... I don't know. Not a reason. What is that? We're not. I if he meant me as a boy, I don't know. Or if he meant my kids. Either way, not a reason to come in the house. Even no. if you knocked and if no one answered, you don't go in. And you can see from the footage, if Super you listen, dangerous. if you see from the footage, you can watch that he really did look in the front windows for a substantial amount of time, looking around. Lights are all off. Lights are all off. Looks like no one's home. No, we were clear. We're clearly working on a renovation in the living room here, so there's stuff everywhere, tile, like contracting stuff, and we did not ask him to come here no. at all. Um, the other thing that I thought was super strange with the video is if you play that footage that we just played about him actually coming here again. You can hear, if you listen really carefully, yeah. he says something or after. becomes very frustrated. He growls. After For sure he growls. He growls. <laughs> after he tries the door and it won't open. So yeah. you can see him gesture and opening, trying to open the door. When it won't go and it won't open, listen really carefully to the footage. Yeah. And then when he stops the sound, looks in the front windows in the bay here and does a similar sound for a longer period of time. Again, like out of frustration. And then he decides to kind of turn around and leave. Yeah. And we don't actually know if he left right away or not because I couldn't see from the camera because we had not adjusted our cameras yet in those positions. So we have now changed the locations of our cameras to be able to actually capture things a little better and learn how to do the settings better on our cameras because remember we were new having these cameras here. So just a little bit of like lesson in security, I guess, or a reminder of making sure that your family has security. We are on a public platform, but being on a public platform does not mean that people are invited to just come into our house. And this gentleman doesn't even know what we do for work or who we are or that we're on YouTube or anything. He wouldn't know anything about my family. So yeah. had this been like, a friendly person coming down in the driveway and be like, hi, we're a YouTube family. Like we've had that before. No one would ever try to come into our house. So we don't know what his intentions were. We don't know if they were good or bad either way, super inappropriate. And luckily because of our cameras, we were able to catch it. And luckily we were actually here because had he come in, who knows what would have happened. Um, and sometimes when people do make it in, then they find themselves in situations that maybe they weren't prepared for if they get busted. So lucky for him, he didn't make it into the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would Gunnar been... Novin Finn, first of all, would yeah. have been on him pretty quickly, but uh, there, you know, obviously we would have contacted the authorities and the situation would have gone a lot further had he actually made it into the front door. So I'm lucky that we have the camera. So we're going to be adding some additional security to our property, um, putting a gate in the front. Yeah. Um, we've added some additional security cameras. I'm going to be doing a fence install, lots of different things. We're going to be working on property because unfortunately these little situations that happen kind of wake you up and make you really aware of your surroundings yeah. and what you need to be able to do to secure your family. We've had these security cameras to catch these adorable little animals that have been coming on our property. Little did we know that they would really be also for the security of our home. And I don't feel like we're in an unsafe place. I just think it's a, a situation where some people just don't know their boundaries and he really just should not have tried to come into the house. No, <laughs> please don't. Please don't come into my house please and try don't. to open my door. Yeah. First of all, it's gonna be locked up because the house is always locked and armed with security, but yeah. there's three dogs here and... <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't even want that. It's not even the three dogs. I wouldn't want my dogs to get hurt, you know, no. so. So let me know what you thought of the footage. I want to know if you heard him say something or if does he just grumble because he's frustrated? Like, what's your take on the video? We thought it was super unnerving that someone tried to come in right away. Our nerves were up because of the kind of the drop offs the first couple times that he came. And then this just kind of added to the list of we're not comfortable having you on our property any longer. So obviously we will not be hiring this gentleman back to do any other work um, and probably doing a lot more thorough investigation on who people are before they actually come in, whether we're home or not. Um, just kind of a, 
unnerving day we thought yeah. we would share with you but let us know in the comment section what you guys think what are some ways you do things to secure your home at home because we're look we're gonna add some things to the property here but yeah thanks for watching we're all right everyone's good my nerves are calmed down i got my boy team security <laughs> here so i'm all good but just you know some things that just sometimes wake you up and make you realize that you really need to do some additional things to protect your family yeah i love you guys we're working on our bedroom renovation and our living room renovation at the same time this week we'll be posting some footage for you guys in tomorrow's episode so i love you guys thank you so much for always supporting my family see you tomorrow